everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be show, so um, i'm going to show you how to sow these collie seeds i had some leftover seeds from last year i don't know if they're viable seeds anymore but i will still try to sow them um i don't make any videos anymore or i still make them but i don't have time because of my exams so i hope that you actually appreciate that because after three weeks i will be making more longer videos and more videos because then i have i haven't any exams then but um, now i have exams so i'm going to sow these collier seeds in these um, pots or not pots sorry these cells i have 10 cells here the small cells but collier seeds are relatively really small so it says you can sow them all year long but you can plant them out in may and they flower August to October so they are really beautiful plants I have six plants here already that are from last year they haven't died I overwintered them and I half of them throw away because you know I didn't have any more space so I had to just overwinter some of them so let me just open I just see if there are any yeah there are many many seeds look those are called colia seeds so they are relatively these are relatively really small seeds but they grow they look really pretty I didn't grow these seeds I grew verb seeds last year many of them but let me just see if I can actually so as I said these are really small seeds and you can actually lose them so what you have to do you have to be really careful so i may so many of them but i don't know if i can actually sow them so many of them but we'll see we put more soil but you don't have to bury them in the soil because they are relatively look at them really small seeds so what you do take some of them and sprinkle on the Just sprinkle them, don't need to bury them or something like that. Be careful though because they can easily go away. I was really successful with growing some colias last year. So I hope so they will they will grow this year as well. I need more seeds for these tree cells. Think these are enough I thought I would have this some left but I didn't know that many I would have that many seeds still and that's really good like that but just I will tin them afterwards so therefore I'm sowing many of them because I don't want so many plants anyway I have already not so much space in my greenhouse. I will put them in greenhouse. Maybe I will plant them some of outside as well, but we'll see. So now I'm going to water it, but I'm going to water really carefully because you know the other really small seed then can go away and yeah, you know. Um, and I'm going to put a dome on it and place it in my windowsill for a quick start. So that's it and you don't need to actually, you can actually just a little bit, you can just sprinkle a little bit of soil just to cover them a little bit, not too much, little bit covering so that they touch the soil like that. That's it actually and um, you need to... Obviously, if you're going to grow many things, you need to label so that you know which uh, which seedlings are this. So I labeled it Colius. I had this label from other practice, but still it's Colius, so that's okay. And I will show you the other Colius which I have. So I'm going to water really well, or uh, I'm going to water it, but uh, do not water it so harshly because the seeds can flush away. So let me just show you my colleagues.
So looking good actually in my greenhouse looking summarized because many plants are here now so these are the coleus one of my coleus died so therefore I won't grow more this is one of the coleus over winter not looking great right now these are the one I grew last year from seeds these are some of uh, the bu I bought the green one this one is cutting and this is the big one the uh, purple big one so that's it that's it for today's video so i really hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you later in the next video bye